It was winter time on the island of Sodor. The entire island was coated in a thick blanket of white. A lot of stuff was going on due to the snow, and because the roads were blocked, people, a lot of people started to take the trains, meaning that there was more demand for passengers and goods. One day, the engines were at Timmy's sheds discussing something very important. It's just not right, said Gordon. I don't understand why the fat controller is keeping both Donald and Douglas. I mean, he only ordered one. Just send the other one back yet. Just send the other one away now. I know, right? Hey, said Thomas. Donald and Douglas are hard workers. So what if they lost my special coach? Well, it doesn't matter what you think, Thomas. It's all up to the fat controller. Let's just hope, said Toby, that those two don't get into any more trouble. Huh, I don't know about you guys, but I have an express to pull. So, if you'll excuse me, I have more important matters to attend to. Watch me fly down the main line. And Gordon puffed away to Natford. Just then, Gordon puffed into Natford Station. All right now, he boomed. Where are my coaches? Ah, uh, how are you going? I got the coaches right here. Don't you flash, Gordon? Stop your whining. Huh, like I'm going to listen to an engine who loses coaches. Gordon, why aren't you wearing your snowplow this winter? Ha, huh, said Gordon. Like I'm going to listen to engines like you. For all for all you know, it could actually be nice outside, despite it being frosty cold. Just then, the guard blew his whistle. <coughs> you might learn a thing or two from me, Douglas, along with your little twin. Well, see ya. Well, sorry, Douglas. I don't have time to chat. Maybe we can chat some other time. Well, see ya. And Gordon puffed away. Now this, said Gordon, is how you pull an express. Gordon was rocketing down the main line, stations and people and buildings passing by. Whee! Just then, the station master at Ellsbridge was waving Gordon down. Oh, great. Now we have to stop. What do they want? For all we know, it could be a false alarm. Aww. Why are you wearing a snowplow, Gordon? It's very dangerous. It's fine, station master. There's not going to be any snow just up ahead. Come on, Gordon. It's a false alarm. Huh, calling me on false alarms. Huh. Alright, let's go, driver. We have better places to use our time with. Hmm. Interrupting me? How dare they? Now I have to make up for lost time. Gordon was going nicely, but then... Danger laid ahead. Gordon was going too fast to stop, 
and by the time he realized it, it was too late. <gasps> Gordon! Brakes! Wait, what? <laughs> oh! Whoosh! He hissed. Get me out! Get me out! Not a chance, said one of the passengers. You're stuck. Oh, the indignity. Meanwhile, Donald and Douglas were at Crosby Station. All right, Dougie. The fat controller has made up his mind. He's told us he wants to meet us here. Well, I guess this is the end. You should stay here, Dougie. Besides, I was the one who caused this in the first place. It was my idea to bring you along. No, but you gave me a chance to stay. I think you should stay. Send me away. At the same time, I'm not supposed to be here. You are. No, I was the one who got us into this mess. It was help! What the? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like... Help! I'm stuck! Holy crap, Dougie! It sounds like Gordon! We gotta help him! Oh, someone please help me! I beg of you! Hold on, is that- Yeah, that is Gordon. He's right here. <gasps> Gordon! What happened to you? Oh, Donald and Douglas, help me! Dinner fast yourself, Gordon. We'll soon have you out of there. It's no use, you two. I'm too big and strong to get pulled out of here. You might as well just abandon me. No, we're not. Come on, Dougie. Let's go. Pull! 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 Uh, pull harder! We're doing it! We're getting him out! We're doing it! We're doing it! He's out! He's out! Yes! Alright, he's out. We're done. Then, Donald and Douglas slowly put Gordon onto a siding. Oh dear, said the station master. This is not going to do. Now that Gordon is out of commission, we don't have an engine to pull the express. Do you think you two will be able to pull it? Yes, sir! Alright, excellent. You two, get, get onto the train. You're heading all the way to Vickerstown. Alright, Dougie, are you ready? Alright, and the list is a goal. And Donald and Douglas were off. Tractor. Tired and triumphant, 
Donald and Doug was pulled into Vickerstown. If you However, the passengers were angry. I want my money back. This was a terrible ride. This was stupid. How dare the railway treat me like this? This is terrible service. This service sucks. I hope this railway establishment dies. Excuse me, called the station master. But if it weren't for these two engines, you would have been much later than ever. You're only late by a couple of minutes. Be grateful that you weren't late by multiple hours. Oh, a uh, uh, second thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, these engines are cool, right? They're cool. These engines are cool, right? Yeah, yeah, these are, yeah, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so cool. Later, Donald and Douglas puffed away to go have a rest in the engine shed. Though Donald and Douglas did a good thing, they were still worried what Sir Topham Hat was going to say, but that's a story for another day.